morning everyone. It's Wednesday, February 15th. Um, on Tuesday, uh, February 21st, we're going to announce the Daily News Citizen of the Year. So it's a little teaser for something that's coming up. And for the Our Heritage section where we're inviting you to submit your old photos from your family history, we're still looking for those so there's still some time. Get it in by Friday and we could probably get it into the section. Next we'll hear from Frank Carey and Turner. We've got an article on Governor Doug Burgum's efforts to spread the Main Street Initiative through North Dakota's cities and towns. For this article, we spoke with Lieutenant Governor Brent Sanford, as well as the Wapiton Mayor and Economic Development Director, about kind of what folks can expect to see in improvements for uh, food and entertainment in their city. Also, a Colfax man was acquitted of the charge of gross sexual imposition after a three-day trial by jury. The white powder that closed the Campbell Post Office for four hours on Friday turned out to be innocuous. We have some information on that we'd like you to read. And we also have coverage of the Breckenridge School Board where uh, they want to work with the drama students to try and find an outside organization to uh, kind of take care of the money that is raised uh, for some rehabilitation of their theater. Hi everybody, today in sports we have the uh, Wapton Lady Huskies picking up a uh, one-point victory against Fargo Davies at home. And uh, we also have the Breckenridge Cowboys winning at home, and uh, the Wapton Hus uh, Husky Boys, as well as the Breckenridge Cowgirls, both falling on the road. So make sure to check it out.